Hello, as I almost knock over the model when I start the stream. Okay, let's check. Audio is at the right levels. We got Ezra hanging out today. Uh, in is at Pottery. But hey, Lifeguard, welcome to the stream. Um, we're gonna paint some miniatures. Continue working on this lady. So, uh... soap out of my brush. I did get a fun delivery yesterday of a bunch of uh, Juwila bricks and such um, to use on bases. I was hoping to use some of them on the Black Knight base, but we'll see. I think they'll definitely be useful for another base that I was working on, so. Soap out yet? No. Got a lot of soap in there. Let's see. What else happened since Friday? Um, get the mic a little closer. There we go. Uh, not too much. Worked a little bit more on the doors on that Black Knight base. Um, we went and saw everything everywhere all at once last night, which was amazing. Highly recommend it. Possibly one of my favorite movies ever. Um, oh yeah, oh, Bez is getting up. Doing a little stretch. Yeah, let's see. So last time we were working on this, these steel, silver, NMM stuff everywhere as well as finishing some leather stuff. What do we want to work on today? Maybe we should do some gold. That might be a good place to start. So let's think about how we want to do gold. Why not? Maybe one of the new Chimera sets comes with a nice color for gold. So forward to that, but we don't have that yet, so we do with what we have. Where's the, there it is. Just start with some of the uh, smaller bits just to warm up. Because it is going to be a shorter session. Uh, and as Pottery ends at four, she wants to ride back home after that because it's easier for her to take the bus from there to here. Hello, Diana. Happy Bunny Day to you, too. How are you? Have you seen everything everywhere all at once yet, Diana? Because if you haven't, you should go see that. Oh, Anna, Anna's taking the bus. She took, instead of me dropping her off and then her going to pottery, she went to pottery straight from here, so she'll be coming back sometime after four. Um, so then I'll go drop her off after that, because the bus is like one bus from my place to there versus two buses or something, so. talk about too much or I don't want to talk about everything everywhere all at once too much because I don't want to spoil it um, but I will just say everyone is great in it it's really fun to watch good emotional beats good plot 
good action, good everything. Yeah. talk about the ending but I felt like it was a natural place for it to go or like do you mean like the whole ending sequence or like the very very ending fun and pretty movie to watch. Yeah, Roxanne was good. One, one issue was every time Roxanne happened, um, some dude in our audience who just kept laughing and you know like the dumbest laugh <laughs> like he did like the whole thing every time and it's like come on yeah <laughs> and I did not like that either I, I thought the, the flashback scene for that though was perfect. I loved it. And then I'll just say the Benihana universe was very good. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Without spoiling. Nice, have fun lifeguard. And as A-OK -okay to lurk, we all got our own stuff to do. Hope you have fun priming stuff. Oh God. <laughs> also sorry that I keep like going back in. Wiping paint, it's just not the right consistency. There we go. Yeah. I will, I will go look for it after this and see how terrible it is. Actually, here we're not dealing with this right now. So say goodbye to that. A few more. Easily reach the
yeah. I'll say like everyone in the movie is great, but uh, the husband was definitely the highlight for me. We also watched a lot of more uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. We're almost done with the first season, which I think is the only season that's out right now. Yeah. Uh, don't go see Fantastic Beasts. Fuck Fantastic Beasts. Oh, we forgot to paint these last night. Oh well. If you want to see it, torrent it instead. Ah, <laughs> uh, fine. J.K. Rowling's a terrible person and she shouldn't get any money. <laughs> I'm begging for the most funny scenario to happen, which is this one tanks and then she stubbornly tries to produce the last two on her own. I think that'd be hilarious. It's not based off books. This is a series, but there's like a fourth and fifth one that's planned. Trying to delay having to explain why the, the wizards had to let the Holocaust happen for as long as possible. like Harry Potter I I watched the first Fantastic Beast movie and I was like this is fine but like why why are they shoehorning like this Grindelwald stuff into a movie that's supposed to be about like catching fun monsters I thought that was kind of a dumb choice and then they're just like oh actually this is just a prequel thing now like I think if it was just a series about Fun monsters and such, and not the Grindelwald, yada yada, it could have been fun. And also J.K. Rowling, maybe, I don't know, wasn't a piece of garbage. Harry Potter and all that stuff doesn't make you a bad person. Yada yada yada. But I 
people say going back and like revisiting the writing of those books it's not great <laughs> So... be doing more gold elsewhere. I just want to do the things that I know are going to be gold first. And then we'll start thinking about where to put gold on the silver stuff we did yesterday. Not yesterday. Okay, see you, Diana. Have a good one. it is Easter, so probably a lot of people are busy today. Let's see, okay. Let's make this handle gold as well, because why not? The palette is a mess already. Oops. Q. 
aqui. Let that dry a little bit while we pump up these other colors. Fat head's getting in the way a little bit, but not in front of the model, I guess, so that's okay. Things up there. Here, let's fix our back a little bit. There we go. Let's fix our palette a little bit <laughs> since everything got crimped up together because I'm a dummy. There's the ball back there. Pose a ball on the couch. Everybody's having a good time. Telling me to stand up. My watch can deal. Hey, Thousand Young, how are you doing? Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Hello. I remember you being way ahead of me time wise, so maybe Monday for you by now. I'm not sure. But whatever day it is for you, I hope it's nice. Thanks. Anyway, here's our top half. We did some of the metals last stream just to get them started. Um, now we're, we're, we're doing some gold. Nice. Well, I hope your weekend was good and restful. And that you have a fun week ahead of you. Did you wrap up the uh, the kaiju you were working on? I saw you were streaming the other day, but I didn't get a chance to check it out because I was running around doing errands and such. Awesome. Here, I'll pull that up in just a second. Let's get to a stopping place on those little gold things. Yeah, let's push them up a little bit more. Just checking out my stream, making sure it's looking good. So far, this computer's been doing good, so I'm a happy camper. Let's, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I can just do this. No, so that's properties. There we go. Make sure there's nothing bad. Okay, yeah, it's just that. Cool. Oh, I have to make it visible. There we go. Cool. Awesome. 
<laughs> there goes the thing. Come on, replay. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks really awesome. Were you inspired by anything for this or just kind of like making a monster? But awesome. Very cool. Let's close that. Here, I'll give that a favorite. All that good stuff. There we go. Okay. Okay. Start treating, treating, treating my brushes a little nicer, but it's probably not gonna happen. A little bit higher. And we forgot about the other side, so let's do that. A little bit less intense because it's more in the shadow. these I think I want them to be steel we'll do the dagger next I think and then she's got her jewelry and such um, and then we'll figure out the other bits but we'll see it's almost three so I got at least an hour left to paint so we'll see how much we can get done um, let's actually figure out a color for this uh, sheath first so I don't think I want it to be all like metal. I think I want it to be some sort of accent color. Um, so I could do green to kind of match the cloak. That might be a good option. I don't want to do brown. I think that'd be kind of boring. 
let's see. Maybe, yeah, we pull, we pull out a color wheel. <laughs> and we can see what we got. Somewhere right here's the color wheel. There we go. We got shapes and colors. or a blue maybe, that might work. We'll just keep it simple and do green. That's... Hmm. Let's pop this back on so we can get a better idea of what's what. I feel like if it's too much of a different color, it'll stand out too much and I don't want to draw attention to it. So let's just do like a dark green. I think that'll look nice. Just pop that back off because we don't need it for now. Let's grab this boy because it's a fun dark green color. Maybe. Let's see what it looks like. Second. There we go. Lovely. Okay, get my screen on here, do some rough highlights on it. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's paint these straps real quickly before we forget about them completely. So for that we are using mahogany. on them so we might paint some metal on there as well so well, let's get this bit painted first made that way too watery Super visible on the camera. Yeah, it's kind of blocked by the model, but if it makes you feel better, it's also kind of blocked by the model for me, so. Yeah, as for that stuff, I don't know how much of that I'm gonna bother painting. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it just being in shadow. We'll see. She's gonna be standing like that. I'll be the primary viewing angle. I think I'll just blast some like black or something in there and it'll be fine. Um, put a little bit more light brown in there. 
just to get some highlight stuff. And while we're thinking about it, let's just put this on the shoe straps in frame. As well as the soles of the shoes. Just so we at least have some color there to get started with. Not sure if we'll stick with it, but we probably will. spots we need to go back and uh, add some skin. <laughs> That's okay. We already knew we had to do that. Okay. There's that. Is there any other light leathery bits that we're forgetting? I don't think so. Okay. So let's add a bit of this pale yellow to this green. See how that looks. It looks lovely enough to do some rough little highlights. Don't want to make it pop too much. It's just a little dagger, hilt, thing, guard, whatever you want to call it. Words. <laughs> Sheath, that's the one. So after this, got my normal Sunday stuff, and then this evening I need to pick a model to send off on that uh, Kingdom Death paint rally I was talking about last time. So, gotta narrow down the options for that. And hopefully get that out early this week, because I think everyone's planning on sending theirs early in the week. I also need to remember to get the address of the person I'm sending it to. That'd probably be a good start. Huh? I know the state, but I don't know besides that.
<laughs> That's one way to do it. But I'm thinking about sending like a nicer KDM model that I, like I probably won't paint. So like, uh, good thing to send over. So I don't want it to just get lost to the void. That'd suck. But worst case scenario, I'll do that. I'll just say send to state with this person's Discord name. I'm sure it'll work out. That or the post office will just yeet it back at me and say, you're a goddamn idiot. Which is probably the most likely outcome. <laughs> Oops. to figure out gemstone colors at some point on this, but probably not on this stream. Let's see. Yeah, I'm debating if I want to work on the Black Knight base tonight, or maybe work on this figure a little bit more, just because we've been working on her for a while. Kind of want to... I mean, I'm still having a lot of fun painting her, but I also... Wanna paint other stuff too. Maybe I'll just knock out her base or something this evening. Get that all sorted. Since I'm thinking about messing with some, uh, uh, I have like photo etch plants that I've had for a little bit. haven't actually used them on anything yet. So let's see what they look like. Okay. There's, there's the quick little dagger. Touch up this bodice part thing. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> the straps on her dress, on her boobs. There we go. Okay. Let me go in there with some uh, instant paints in a little bit. Just make these little things gold, just to change it up. I haven't given this bag much love at all yet, so... Actually, maybe that'd be a better idea to do that first. We'll get, actually... So we have the same green going on.
touch up the bag a little bit. Oop, something happened. Hey, reload last shot. Thank you very much for the follow. Hope that you are having a nice Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are. A lot of people are celebrating Easter today, so that's fun. I feel a little bad because every year my parents or my mom's like, what are you doing for Easter? And I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm doing the same old thing. It's a different day? That's interesting. <laughs> not realize it was different days in different places. So today I learned. Nice. Yeah. My answer has been chill, hanging out with the boys. So there's one boy, the other boy's out on the couch, the normal boy. Um, Ah, okay, yeah. I was I was a, a Catholic boy, so I'm much more agnostic now, but still appreciate all the stuff. Hey lifeguard, how was your priming? What did you what did you get primed? I don't remember if you said. I think you just said I'm working on priming, and then headed off. We're just touching up this leather now, taking a little break from the metals. Um, yeah, yeah. I my I. It's like Easter is like. I don't like not a huge food thing for me, but like Thanksgiving for America and uh, um, Christmas, I go all out. I like cooking. Um, I haven't cooked as much over the last two years because pandemic stuff, I'm not being able to do too many get togethers, but like still for the holidays, I'll try to do something big. Excuse to have good food. We did try to go to a new place last night, but then we decided to just go to a regular one because we ended up going to see uh, the movie. Um, everything everywhere all at once. And there was like a it was either like a six forty five showing or it was like a nine p.m. showing or something. We're like, mm. <laughs> so we just did the six forty five. So the like seven to eight ones at the other theater were full basically so didn't want to do that nice awesome do you got like a shore trooper kind of army or units or something going on to have the scarif I should watch Rogue One again. I think that's... I do like The Last Jedi quite a bit. Um, but I think Rogue One is probably my favorite of the... The Disney era of Star Wars movies. Nice. I know they just came out with... Um, They added like scum as a faction to it. Uh, and I'm blanking on 
the faction's name that's led by Darth Maul in between Clone Wars and Rebels. Black Sun? I want to say it's Black Something. Nice. Yeah, I know that uh, I saw Swinson have like a bucket of... Yeah, Black Sun, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Loki, how are you doing? Um, or sh yeah, Shadow Collective, there we go. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, cool. Usually I'm slightly better with the Star Wars names, but I don't know, I'm tired. <laughs> I did see that um, Swinson had a bucket of Vader's because um, he's doing like an OSL class. So that should be cool. How do you guys like the, the Legion minis? Um, like quality wise? Are they like fun sculpts to paint? Because um, I'm always tempted to get them, but I don't know. I feel like Atomic Mass Games has like a similar issue to GW in some senses where their box art doesn't always do the best job of selling the models, in my opinion. Like it's not bad or anything, but like I feel like sometimes things are painted a little weirdly that um, doesn't show what the sculpt actually looks like, if that makes sense. I started painting with uh, WizKids mostly and like a Hero Forge figure. So, basically, everything since then has been a step up. I'm interested to see how the, the WizKids framework stuff is. I've heard a lot of mixed things. Yeah, yeah. Hips, hips is always nice. Um, the vehicles look like a lot of fun, but I feel like that would be a slippery slope for me. Um, it's like, I see they got they got that snow speeder kit, and I'm like, hmm. Mm, I like the snow speeder. It's one of my favorite Star Wars vehicles. So my favorite favorite is the B-Wing. Yeah, the, so, <laughs> I, like, the sculpts are fine, but, like, the casting, so, like, the, they have two issues, which is, like, the casting's, eh. Like, sometimes it's really great, especially for, like, their bigger monsters. Doing a stretch, Ezra? He's doing a stretch. Um, like, the bigger monsters and such are fine. But then they kick everything in a whole bunch of primer, which hides a lot of the details, so that sucks. Um, and then, like, sometimes the, 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 like, the medium-sized creatures are incredibly hit or miss. Like, sometimes they're fine, and sometimes they're just awful. Um, I, I, I think Bones Reaper stuff is a lot more fun, especially the black. Yeah, the plastic is really bad. Um, and they leave all the mold lines on. So then you have to scrape them off, and then he's like, okay, well, I scraped off primer. So then do I need to reprime it? And it's just, it's, yeah, it's not great. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would agree with that. I think, like, the, the big frost giant guy, he was pretty fun to paint a while ago. Um, I think the dragons are okay. Um, I don't have any desire to pay, like, 300 bucks or whatever for the uh, adult. Uh, ancient or whatever the hell ones. There's much better models out there for that kind of money. Yeah. Like, I appreciate that they're something easy to start with, but they're, yeah, that's Yeah, so like the 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 heroes, like the standalone heroes, aren't too bad. It's like twelve or fifteen bucks for a the hero mini, right? Um, which like is is better than you would say GW. Um, I think my gripe is just like I don't really like true scale. I don't think it's fun to paint like twenty eight mil true scale is, eh, like. 
I know I know a lot of people who do like it. That's great. Um, but it's just so tiny. So for for D and D minis, like the Reaper Bone stuff can be fun, but it can also be kind of hit or miss. Um, and I like I like dark sword miniatures a little bit for like getting player minis um their middle minis they got like this cool like old retro aesthetic and then westphalia miniatures is one that i'm waiting to get a bunch of stuff from from a couple kickstarters i'm really excited to get that stuff because it looks good um if you're not familiar with boris he's the sculptor for westphalia uh he has a, he has a really like good kind of classic D and D kind of aesthetic. Um, and does a lot of neat things. He did like, they just did a more, not Morkborg, cause that's not how you say it, but I'm not Swedish. So I'm not going to be able to say it. It's like Merkberg, something like that, but that's probably not it. Um, uh, but they just had a Kickstarter for some minis. I don't know if you can late back it or not, but like, it's a bunch of really cool, like dark twisted monsters. So I, I was a big fan. Um, Yeah, yeah, a little Yoda would be cool. Um, but, yeah. Uh, another one that I found that I like a little bit is uh, Red Box Games. I think that's what it's called. Uh, if you're familiar with Roman Lapat, a miniature painter, he did a diorama of like a bunch of adventures in front of a big door. It's like a dungeon delve kind of diorama thing. And all those minis are from Redbox Games. Um, so, I think I got a couple of them. Pretty good. Zealot Miniatures also has some good ones. I think they're also sculpted by Boris. Um, classic D, D things of course like one of the nice things about like whiz because your bones is like you can eat the mini across the room and it's going to be a fine it's going to be fine right so that's nice if you're worried about that but generally I had a couple of metal minis fall apart because it was like my first time doing metal and I didn't really pin them and I used not great super glue, but other than that, I have not had too much trouble with resin miniatures. Okay, let's paint this little thing up here. Yeah, I have I have heard some mixed things about the new frameworks line from them. Um, like overall, like it's definitely like an improvement. Um, yeah, you can and should eat them. Um, uh, but like I, I've heard, like the the hips itself is not quite as nice as like other companies, like especially um, compared to like GW or something like that. But even though GW doesn't always make things that are. cup of tea. The actual quality of their kits is very good. I do still have a couple of GW minis to paint. I think I have two Underworld bands and I got Sigvald. And I've got this guy who's been sitting here for forever. I'll probably paint at some point. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Millennia or Devonir. She goes by a couple of different names on different discords. She has a, a painting discord. That's a nice little community and there's like a bingo thing and it's like your longest whip and this would qualify as my longest whip because I primed it a long time ago and it's just been sitting on my shelf because I was like, mm. <laughs> I was a dumb. I probably should have left these in sub assemblies, but he's all together. So that'll be fun. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I like I like I do like the Lumineth. I think they have a cool, a cool vibe. So we'll paint them at some point. Maybe I'll just do like true metallics on them or something. But, yeah. 
Okay, back to this. Uh, we're painting the thing up there. So let's keep painting that. And it's 3.30. I sure don't have any messages yet. Okay, we're good. We're Gucci. Kind of regret not, well, I don't regret it because I got enough minis to paint, but I know that Atomic Mass Games recently bumped up the prices on a lot of their stuff. And by recently, I mean a few months ago. And they did a nice thing, which was they put out a, hey, we're gonna be bumping up the prices, so here's your last chance to get them at this price. But I think the Legion stuff is on sale often enough on like miniature market that if I ever want to get it, I can get it. Not too much. Because I'm sure someday I will cave and want to paint a Star War. Nice. Yeah, for me, it's mostly the Mandalorians that uh, are the most tempting. I saw that they finally came out with the uh, the Razor Crest for X Wing. I was like, mm. <laughs> I was currently thinking about getting rid of most of my X Wing stuff. But I'm gonna go and show that. So we didn't paint the image side of that, so we'll get that in a second. Sorry, I need to see what the heck is going on here. Side of this because it looks like crap right now. Okay. Nice. Are there like bits, 3D printed bits marketplaces? I would imagine there are. I mean, I know, I know there's like. 3D printing marketplaces like my, my mini factory, but I don't know if there's like one that's like specific for bits. I know I'm a big fan of uh, basing bits. Unfortunately, no 3D printer, so. Stuck having to buy my bits like some sort of caveman. Okay, cool. And two weeks ago, welcome to the hobby. I hope you are enjoying it. I've, I'm now in my third year? I started April 2019, so it's now April 2022, so yes, third year. I guess entering fourth year. Yes, this is entering the fourth year. I can do math sometimes. It's like I'm, it's part of my job or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, my new factory, every time I go on to it, like even if I go to like someone's store, it's a nightmare. 
Like, I go to, like, Loot Studio store just to see what they have, because I know they have, like, the 75 mil D&D stuff and now sci-fi stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's neat. Uh, I'm just finding stuff in their store and paying them up. Because, like, they had some terrain bits that I was looking for, and I couldn't find it on their store. So I don't know if they just never put it there, or if I just can't find it because of my mini factory. So I was going to see if I could either find someone who was printing it, or, uh, I guess get the STL and have Shapeways printed or something. Cause uh yeah we can take take a take a second. We got we got this, so Friday or whatever, I showed the rough part of the door, so I sanded them a bit. There's like indents and stuff, but I kind of want to keep that for like weathering. Um, let's see. So it's got like wood under there, and I'll be like rusty metal. I'm gonna use uh, focus. There we go. Some of my stone faces as like little door things and make little handles out of some wire to go under that. Um, yeah, a little diorama. So uh, here, I'll show at least one of the figures. Because I have holes drilled for him. But there's going to be four figures on this. Uh, it's a Kingdom Death diorama. So this is the Black Knight from Kingdom Death. Um, yeah, don't worry, competition. Hey, hey, Drumner. We'll see. I mean, it's already the 17th. I don't know if I can get it done by the end of the month. I'm going very slowly. I'm just, I'm like, I'm taking my time trying to make sure I don't like, I have to undo steps. Um, so there's gonna be like lots of like sculpting little bits and then going back and sculpting more bits. Um, but I was sketching out some, before streaming today, I was sketching out some lines just to see how things would look. Um, so we have a pathway coming off the door and maybe some grass patches here or something like that. Um, but we'll see. So it looks like a mess right now, but hopefully it will be better. I'm just, these are like just the big shapes built out. Um, so next step is get the door done. So just the handles on that and then we'll glue that in and we'll start sculpting the rest. Although before we glue it in, we might finish this platform off because it's just the rough volume so maybe get that sorted so that we know how high the door should go. Probably a better idea than just gluing on the door willy really, nilly so we don't have to fix it. Also just so notifications so let's make sure that we have more time to paint. Just finished up heading to bus now. So we got a little bit of time. Let me let me respond to this real quickly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like uh, if you're just trying to get your foot in the door, my mini factory is terrible for doing that. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of my first. I guess uh, the thing we were just looking at is kind of my first like multi-figure diorama thing. Um, so been working on it for a couple weeks when I get, every now and then when I get the chance to. I'll get it sorted soon enough. Okay. Let's touch up some stuff down here. So the stream will probably end a little bit abruptly. So sorry about that in advance. <laughs> I will 
try to stream tomorrow probably. Let's see how we're feeling. Okay. Nice. But yeah, the whole three D printing thing is very cool. Someday I'll get a three D printer, but not until I can do it in a area where I don't sleep <laughs> or not have it in my bedroom, basically, which is probably where I would have to go here, or in my bathroom, which would be kind of weird. So. Just painting these roughly, cause they're probably hidden by the cloak for the most part. So who cares? All right. Okay, 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 okay. Debating if there's anything else we can dilly-dally on or if we should just start figuring out the details on the gauntlet stuff. We need to start figuring out the details on the gauntlet stuff. So let's start with the leg. Goodbye again, torso. Or shoulders? Shoulders. Okay. So I think this rim around the jewel should be gold. So we'll just paint all of this. Our, our buckles brown face color. Now let's also make these lines coming up to it gold as well. So I'm just gonna block in the bits that we want to be gold and like take a step, take a step back. Not actually, but you know what I mean. See what we think of it. Maybe just all this filigree should be gold. I think maybe we'll leave these things silver. We'll, we'll save that for the end.
which generally like I, I like it when the fur has a lot less detail sculpted into it and just like hints at there being fur. Um, I, I would much rather paint fur strands myself rather than um, be told where the fur strands are all the time. Does that make sense? So I think a really good example of that is like Lucas Pena does that quite a bit in his sculpts where like both hair and fur um, are not super defined so you can kind of define it yourself. I know different strokes for different folks. I know some people like the more detailed fur and hair. I don't think there's a right or wrong. trying to not paint these oops sorry these edges gold but I think it'll be better if they are uh, my main reasoning for that is like gold's a weak metal so like why would you put it on the edge of your armor where it would like take hits or something like that but whatever she's a god so it's fine exactly yeah I think another good example, the, the wolf from uh, the Dale Guard Kickstarter by Cult of Paint. And the corresponding painting fur tutorial on their YouTube channel. I think it's another nice example where it has the volumes of fur kind of d defined at like the edges of it like where it's kind of like blowing back um, but like largely it's just kind of smoother volume so you can define it how you want to and the reason why I like that is purely laziness <laughs> um, it's basically it basically just boils down to that Especially with like 3D sculpting and like 3D printing, I think it's really cool that all sorts of different sculpting styles exist or not there, so that everyone can find something that they like to paint. It's neat. Because I don't want every miniature to be the Lucas Pena miniature. So we're just gonna go all out with the gold details on this thing, why not? All the raised things will be gold. Let's just do that on this side. I don't know how long 
it takes. That may be where we end today. Sorry for the short stream. I usually try to make Sundays longer stream, but weird logistics today. Also, I probably could start streaming a little bit earlier, but wanted to get laundry done and then also got distracted by Elden Ring. Whoops. found another underground location that I probably should have found a while ago because I was very overpowered for it and killed a bunch of things. Made me happy because I was struggling on a boss prior to that so I was like I'm gonna go explore. Hey, Minimancer, how are you doing? I'm probably going on and off camera a little bit, but I'm just base coding where I want this gold detail stuff to go. Okay, I don't think we goofed up that. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Alrighty. Expedition Viking, nice. Also a nice on dinner. Okay, I will have to wrap up. I'm gonna make sure so I don't get called and freak out the boys real quickly. I'm checking here. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can finish this base coat. And then I'm gonna have to wrap up the stream. Sorry, Mini Mancer. Okay, there's that. So we'll have to figure out what's gold on this thing. But I think I also just gonna, I might just redo this. Um, so what's probably gonna happen is I will get the gold stuff going on our arms. Yeah, we'll figure out the, the thing in the jigger. Um, what's it called? Moist. That should be fun. Oh yeah. So here, let's uh, so I might paint up her base tonight if I'm not feeling like sculpting, which is a high probability because I don't know if I want to start sculpting on that. 
Black Knight base. Um, also kind of want to try some stuff painting the base wise. Uh, I watched Sergio's diorama time lapse video thing that he put out a few weeks ago. And he uses like the airbrush to paint most of the base. So I'm kind of interested in giving that a go uh, and seeing how it works. So yeah. So I'll get that sorted. That way when we finish painting her, we just put her on and be done rather than having to paint the base separately. But yeah. So there's where we are. We did do a quick recap of what we did today. Painted some missing leather things. Um, did the gold, which is pretty much it, and the green. So, getting there. So I'll have some more gold, steel touch-ups, the bow, hair, arrows, all the gems. We forgot about those on her face, so more steel stuff because we forgot about that. Oh, we have to paint those anyway, so that's okay. That's good. Oh, big stretch for the boy. Oh, big stretch. Yeah, let's see if I can go raid someone real quickly. <laughs> Dump you guys somewhere. Yeah, the new the new camera is a huge improvement. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, I think I've slowly been getting better. Um, we're also gonna take photos with the real camera going forward for the, the nice stuff. Little minis, I'll still just take pictures with my phones because I'm lazy. No problem, Thousand Young. Thank you for hanging out and chatting. Um, so like I said, might stream tomorrow. Again, I'll be a how I feel thing. Tuesday I might stream as well. Again, how I'm feeling kind of thing. Worst case. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream on Friday. I think that I might have fancy dinner on Friday. So we'll see. If I do, maybe it'll be an earlier stream. So let's see if there's anyone online. Uh, what's the, we haven't rated this person? Oh, they're VRBing. Well, I'm just gonna end the stream before I get yelled at. So <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys at some point this next week. Bye bye. Hasta luego.